Um, so anyhow, people don't realize that. They, don't, they just hear I harassed a teenage girl. The New York Times didn't get into the details. The New York Times just lied and said I harassed a teenage girl and was convicted. At the, oh, that was the funny part of the sentencing, all my sentencings. I say to the judge, I begin my opening, my statement, because I'm allowed to give a statement about why you shouldn't put me in jail, why you should, or whatever. The first thing I always say is I say, Your Honor, I stand before you a convicted criminal like the Salem witches, Martha King Jr., Rosa Parks. He was a black judge, too. Yikes. Nelson Mandela. And I went to Central Park Five. I went down a list of lots of people who were convicted, and it later proved the convictions were fake. Actually, Mandela's conviction, I think, was technically accurate. Because even apartheid and the Nazis were more honest than the USSA. Um, there was not a germ of truth to any of it. None of it. I had removed Rachel's email addresses from dozens of emails to obey the order of protection because we knew the moment they got the order of protection what the plan was. Duh. That's another reason why everything about it is ludicrous. I even got Rachel to admit there's no motive in the crime. If I had not sent those emails to her, but to all of her friends and her parents, as I usually do, she still would have seen them. <laughs> so their argument is, I just punched myself in the face. Like when they said with Abner Louima, who they raped with a broomstick, um, they said, oh, he, he raped himself with the broomstick, obviously, said the police. Oh, yeah, had some weird gay sex. And we didn't rape him with a broomstick. And then it turned out, yeah, they raped him with a broomstick. Uh, you can't make this shit up, people. Your government, to call your government corrupt is insane. That's... It's not, it doesn't scratch the surface. Power corrupts. And it's not just government. Parents, any authority is corrupt. They have to be. Their authority. Snap out of it. You need to police. We have to have a society where you think of authority as being the most dangerous criminals so everybody watches the authority. The authority are the ones who need the watchdogs, not the 99%. All the police should be monitoring the 1% at all times. Duh, because they historically are always the real criminals. Duh, this isn't even fucking fresh. Yikes. So, um... Uh, what was I saying? Uh, let's focus. Let's, let's nutshell this up. Oh my gosh, every detail is shocking. Rachel admitted there was no motive. Two, she admitted that she knew the content. Those emails were not written to her. The three emails were all information she already knew. They were about what she had done. Do you see? I was telling everybody else what she had done. It's called whistleblowing. Because then she turned on me after her parents and stuff. It's a long story. At first, I stuck up for her. But you find that always happens. If you stick up for somebody, they will turn on you. Because people don't care about who's on their side. They want to be on the winning team. If they have to betray their friends to be on the winning team, they will. If they have to betray their loved ones to be on the winning team, they will. That's how it works. Life is an ugly, evil thing. And um, that's why I wanted to die since I was five. Because I knew humans couldn't be trusted in any way, in any category at all, ever. And I was sadly more right than I thought. I wasn't even close. As a boy, I wasn't even close. But don't get me started. Um, we knew the moment they got the restraining order, we knew what they were going to do. They were going to do what they've done every previous time they got a restraining order. They're going to use the dirty tricks where they just have me around. Rachel would just walk up to me when I was picketing her show and then say I was harassing her. Please come. Da -da 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 -da. They did that to me a couple times. Like one time they did, the police grabbed me. The police were very hostile. As I was leaving, I was done. I had one flyer with me. All my flyers had been passed out. Their fans were all eager. Who doesn't want to see a good fight? Cartoons? Yeah, let me have one. My cartoons are very effective. That's why I've been jailed numerous times for cartoons. I am Charlie Hebdo for real. Um... And the two cops stopped me outside the KGB theater and grabbed me. And they're like, hey, you, we got to call the two harass people. You're doing, no, you're doing drugs and, and doing booze outside the theater. And I'm like, guys, 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 you were played. And here's the proof. And I just showed them a flyer. I said, look at this. You can see this is me picketing these people who are playing here right now. Do you think maybe that's why they called the police? Because And look, I only have one left. That means they were popular flyers. If you were them, would you call the police to try and stop me? Yes, you would. You got played. And they even played me the phone, the 911 or the radio call that said, guy doing it. And, and when I was done with them, they knew I was telling the truth because they had the physical proof. So did they arrest or investigate who made the fake 911 call about me doing drugs and doing booze on the sidewalk? Pretty easy to confirm. They can find the location of the phone call and we could probably figure out whose voice it is. Is it Rachel's? Is it Julia's? Is it Tina's? Is it Jason's? So why didn't the DA want to go after the person who committed this? Remember, my allegation was... The allegation against me was he's drinking drugs, uh, drinking and doing drugs and scaring people. Okay. Your allegation is that you're committing one of the most gravest felonies, making fake 911 calls that could kill people that way. That's pretty serious. So the government said, well, we're going to investigate the minor crime. 
but we will not investigate the major crime. I even tried to get the 911 tapes for the trial, and the DA, everyone did everything they could to stop me from getting evidence for the trial. Again, you think I'm exaggerating. They broke every law they had the chance to break, and I can list 50,000 times in the Rachel case alone that they broke laws. 50,000 separate crimes in one case alone. If you think that sounds like exaggeration, maybe you haven't seen how, how far I can go on and on and on and on. Uh, fuck, we're down to 9% of battery because Apple products are garbage. Don't ever buy Apple products. They could say, well, batteries have a certain love. Like, well, okay, well, if they're paying this much for a fucking computer, then you should guarantee me that you give me a new fucking rechargeable battery in two years. The battery, you should fucking guarantee that shit for five years then. If you're saying this shit doesn't last that long, then fucking back it up. You have the money, you fucking fraudsters. Don't get me started. I'm just harassing Apple anyhow. <laughs> Um, remember that. If you ever hear anybody use the word harass, punch him in the nose. I don't use that word because it's a word that liars use. It doesn't mean anything. If I'm going to use something specific. I say about Delfino, I say, Delfino would violently assault me all the time. Notice that? Now that's kind of, that's re relatively specific. She would assault me all the time. Throwing objects at me, hitting me, etc. Pretty specific. I can get more specific, obviously, but harass. What does that mean? Does it mean I followed you home from work? What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. That's why they like it. One size fits all, like disorderly conduct. If cops can't get you on anything, well, disorderly conduct or resisting arrest. <laughs> um, and to be fair here, I'm not picking on the cops. Cops love me, <laughs> ironically, because they know I'm telling the truth that I'm a good guy and that the enemy of all of us is the fucking people in power. The authorities are the real criminals. Oh, for this, for, in the end, Everything about the Rachel conviction, so anyhow, the long story short, I was convicted of harassing Rachel Trachtenberg, and the judge gave me six years, but I only served two. Um, the fact that he was appointed by Bloomberg makes the convictions bogus. The fact that I wasn't allowed to present most of my defense because there was a hurricane and we ran out of time ends the conviction on its face. It's over. They have to give me a new trial. If there was a hurricane, a little hurricane called Sandy, and we missed a week in court, and the, so the judge cut my defense time, because that comes second. The DA got to waste all the time in the world. It's over. If there was a Hurricane Sandy, and they didn't have court for a week, the conviction isn't real. Any adult knows that. If in May 2014, May 2014, if there was a case called People v. Golb, G-O-L-B, by the Court of Appeals, where they say the harassment statute is unconstitutional on its face, the Rachel Trackenberg case, conviction is fake. Those are just three off the top of my head. I got plenty more. I can give you 15,000 more reasons why the conviction isn't legal, isn't legit. I'm not saying just it's illegitimate. I'm saying it's unlawful. <laughs> and I gave the judge plenty of reasons. Of course, the transcripts are mutilated, um, so you don't often see what I'm saying. Um, oh, shit. Uh,